Moto Guru. In this video, we're going to be doing the initial setup for the Garmin Zumo X-T2, including connecting it to all the devices we require. So here is the X-T2. Um, interestingly now, the power connection and the connection for the SD card sit under these uh, flaps on the base. I really like those actually. They're um, much more robust than on the uh, the old device. So that's quite neat. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to dock it in this mount here. This is actually a car mount for the previous Zumo, the XT, but it, it fits in there and it's sitting on a Garmin friction mount or bean bag. So first thing we'll do is we'll remove the protective uh, screen like so. Just put that aside and now we should just power on. So I do a long press We'll see if it powers on. Now it has been um, in its box for a while. This arrived almost a year ago, but I've been busy. So perhaps the battery is dead. So let's plug it in and try that again. So what's neat about the new design is that because it's USB-C, um, USB-C chargers are much more ubiquitous now then on the previous device. So I'll plug it in there and powers up straight away. Okay, so we're off to a slightly better start. Okay, so locale for me is United Kingdom. I'm gonna accept the license agreement. It says connect to the Garmin Tread mobile app to access additional features on your Zumo XT. So let's go ahead and do that now. So. Um, the Tread app, there's a QR code here that we can scan that will take us to that. So I'm going to take my phone and go ahead and scan that. So this should take us to the Play Store. I'll go ahead and install that. And what I'll do is I'll move my little phone mount here. It's an improvised phone mount. You may recognize that as something you would use for Z notes or Z post-it notes, um, because that's what it is. Um, but we're gonna use it for a phone mount today. Bring that forward a bit, go to open. Okay, so I'm gonna dock that one in there. Allow you to send, no, don't, allow, don't like notifications. Okay, let's just step through this. I've read the licensing agreement. And it says, if you don't pay full attention, bad things will happen. So I'm going to agree with that. That's bad things that happen. Pay your device. Okay, so let's dock this one in here. Let's bring everything into the shot, actually, so we can see everything together. So let's go ahead and connect now. So it says, scan the QR code and so on, so on, so on. And let's try here now, pair a device. Okay, so device, let's say Garmin X-T2. Allow to find and determine the position of devices. I'm going to say yes. Okay, so it says Galaxy Z Flip 5G is requesting Bluetooth connection. Pair with this device, passkey is 439987. So I'm going to say yes and yes. Okay. Allow access to contacts. Hmm. Um. I'm going to say allow. We can change that later if we need to. Okay, so now back on the Zumo, it says Garmin uses device data as error logs. Um, so this is asking if you want to send them error data. Um, I'm going to say yes, because I'm all right with that. You might want to uh, be different, but that's sort of down to you. Garmin Tread app is now connected um, on the phone. It says the location connected is transmitted when providing you turn by turn instructions. So I'm going to say continue. Okay, so that is now connected and done. Now next it's going to try and connect to or wants to connect to our Wi-Fi network. Um, so let's go ahead and do that. Okay, so we're connected to uh, my home network. 
So next it says, connect your Zumo device to a Bluetooth headset to hear navigation instructions. Uh, set your headset to pairing mode and select connect and follow the prompts. Okay, so let's move the um, phone out of the way um, uh, just for now. And I'm gonna bring in the device I'm gonna use. So this is a Fio Micro BTR. Um, I really rate these devices, they're great. It's like a Bluetooth headphone um, sort of small amplifier. Um, this is the entry level model they make and it sounds absolutely fantastic. They make fancier ones too. And the reason I like this is it turns any set of headphones into a Bluetooth set of headphones. Um, the battery life lasts all day, several hours, um, but it also works while being charged. So you can just bring a little battery pack with you and um, keep it charged up. Um, if you're out for a longer trip or you just Make, want to make sure you don't run out of battery. So anyway, to set this up for pairing, we need to hold down the power button for five seconds. And this should now start flashing uh, red and blue. Great, okay, so we can go connect now. So it should see my Fio. There it is, uh, Fio Micro BTR. So we're gonna connect. And now when we click agree, it should take us to the home screen. Yeah, and that's fully set up. So we're connected to um, our Bluetooth headset, we're connected to Wi-Fi, and we're connected uh, to the um, Tread app on our phone. We're essentially ready to go. A few things I'm gonna change immediately, so I would change the time to be 24 hour format and that sort of thing. But other than that, we're, uh, we're good to go. Thanks for watching and remember to like, share and subscribe.